From its headquarters here in San Francisco, Wells Fargo issued a statement saying it's working to address the issues and rebuild trust. The bank's CEO will be back in Washington on Thursday, facing more questions from senators. Vlad? John, what has Wells Fargo done to assure customers, as well as the U.S. government, that they are accountable and working to rectify the problem? The first thing that the bank has done, and this is apparently going to begin on October 1st, is change its compensation practices uh, for signing up new accounts. Uh, the bank actually says that uh, over years it, it's, been, it's been doing this since it recognized the problem, but clearly it didn't do enough. And, and John, could other states follow California's lead and suspend ties with Wells Fargo? That's one of uh, Treasurer John Chang's goals, is to convince other states that they should take similar action to hold these big banks accountable. Uh, and California has some other influence over Wells Fargo, as, as probably other states do as well. Pension funds, state pension funds, hold something like $2.3 billion in Wells Fargo stock. That makes them large shareholders. They're going to try to have influence that way as well. And finally, John, on Thursday, CEO John Stump will testify before the House Financial Services Committee. Is he expected to change his tune at all after his appearance last week before the Senate's banking panel? That wasn't received too favorably. We've seen an, an advanced copy of his statement to the senators, and he's really not saying anything new in that, saying this was not part of the culture, not intended, that they were certainly long taking actions to try to stop this. He will have something he can tell senators tomorrow that he couldn't before, and that is that he's going to take a pretty big financial hit, giving up more than $40 million in stock, giving up some bonuses and giving up his salary while the bank board investigates what went on. John Blackstone reporting. Thank you, John.